This is Ray Glasser on August the 19th of 2003 and I'm going to do a little camera tape of a Pioneer stereo receiver that I got on eBay that I'm going to be selling on eBay. <laughs> Actually I've sold it and I just wanted to get it on tape because I wanted this thing since 1973 when I first saw it. So let me see what I can do in the way of close-ups here. This is a, uh, I can't even think of the model number of this thing. I'm getting some terrible shadows in here. SX9000, that's right. Top of the line receiver. Boy, this is terrible. <laughs> Typical 1970s, except for this thing, the tone color, which is uh, very unique. And of course, the reverb. Which is one of the main reasons I wanted this thing. But I bought this thing about six months ago. I have never used it. I tried it out once and it seemed to work okay. And uh, I just I sold it for the same thing I bought it for. I thought I'd do a real fast camera tape. Just to show what this thing has. And then I actually did own one at one time. Even though I have never used it. Uh, let me see now. I think... This is the tone color. This is like the first equalizer <clears throat> that was ever in a, a receiver that I know of. It's like bright, and this is flat, and this is rock, or something like that. Well, let's see. Bass, vivid, soft. Oh, well. <laughs> Alright, so here's bass heavy. Here's the vivid. Here's flat, and there's soft. Alright, so that's the tone color. And here is the reverb which is controlled by right here and when you turn it on you get all these different little weird lines in there as you can see but I'm going to be bidding on a uh, Pioneer reverb amp that has the same kind of display on there so I really really don't need this thing anymore the tuning meters of course I never listen to the radio anymore so that's a moot point with this thing uh, the radio does work though at least as far as I recall but it was nice while I had it. A nice, uh, very heavy paperweight and all that. But I really, really don't need it. It's just taking up space. One less thing to move if we do move. Here's the back of it with very, very little light. It's all these buttons and jacks and everything else. There we are. A lot of stuff that I just am not into anymore. Stuff I just don't use. This thing's filthy, by the way. At least on the back of it. So that's about it. We're going to say goodbye to the Pioneer SX9000 stereo receiver from 1973. Actually, I heard this thing came out first in 1969. And uh, maybe somebody else would enjoy this thing. It's really just sitting here gathering dust, and I just don't need it. So I bought a Sony tape deck instead, which should be in by the end of this week. Okay, Ray Glasser, the day after my 56th birthday, here on August the 19th of 2003.